Good faith in Bigora. Tis another episode of the Weekly Numbers. I'm contributing editor Sean Oyokomizo. What? St. Patrick's Day is Monday. I'm part Irish. What can I say? Anyway, I was just hoping that St. Patty's Day would lift the numbers out of a rough week following some tragic news coming out of both Danville and Orinda. Late Wednesday, Danville police, including a canine unit, were joined by a CHP helicopter in searching for a local woman who had threatened to harm herself. Searchers found the woman in a field near the 2400 block of Diablo Scenic Boulevard with wounds for an apparently self-inflicted gunshot to the head. The woman was taken to John Muir Medical Center and was listed in critical condition Wednesday night. Highway 24 in Orinda saw its second fatal crash in as many weeks on Tuesday Tuesday when an Oakley man died after crashing his Harley Davidson in the westbound lanes near Stevens Drive. A female passenger was also injured in a crash but survived according to authorities. But there was some uplifting news coming out of the numbers as well. I checked in with the folks over at the Trinity Center and got a better look at how they're working to help the homeless and others in need in the city of Walnut Creek. And our teen tech correspondent Tesla Fong visited Stanley Middle School in Lafayette where a team of girls is building a mobile application as part of a technology entrepreneurial competition called Technovation. And as the weather gets more springy or even summery, there are a number of events geared towards getting out and enjoying nature like the Ruth Bancroft Garden Spring Sale or docent-led spring hikes on Mount Diablo. For all the events happening around the numbers, check out the News 24 680 events and calendar pages. And of course, you can stay up to date on the latest news and other content by subscribing to our Facebook and Twitter feeds. And that's it for the weekly numbers. I'm contributing editor Sean Oyokomizo, and I'll see you around the numbers.